In this problem, we are given function notation. We know that our function f of x is equal to 2x squared, and we want to find f of a minus 1. That is, we are given our function of 2x squared, and we might recall that the definition of a function is that every x that I plug in or substitute into my function, only one y value or f of x value will come out of my function. Now I want to evaluate my given function at a minus 1. Let's remember what this notation is telling us. If we wanted to evaluate our function at, say, the whole number 2, this would mean that we are going to substitute in x equal to 2 into our function. So f of 2 would be equivalent to 2 times our quantity of 2 squared. We would have 2 squared, which is 4, times 2 more, which would give us 8. So f of 2 would be equal to 8. Likewise, if I wanted to find and evaluate f of negative 1, this would tell me that I'm going to substitute x for negative 1. In our case, this would be 2 times a negative 1 squared. Negative 1 squared is a positive 1. So f of negative 1 would be equal to 2. Now let's go back to our original problem. We want to find f of a minus 1. What this tells us is we're going to substitute in the quantity a minus 1 in for x. This would give us 2 times x squared, and x is just a minus 1. So we would have 2 times the quantity of a minus 1 squared. Since that is not one of our options, this means that we want to simplify a minus 1 squared. Well, let's look at what a minus 1 quantity squared would be. This is the same as multiplying a minus 1 times a minus 1. Using the distributive property, often called the FOIL method, we would see that we first have a squared or a times a times a times a negative 1 or a negative a and a negative 1 times a or another negative a. Finally we have negative 1 times a negative 1 or a positive 1. Therefore a minus 1 squared is equivalent to a squared minus 2a plus 1. Going back to our original problem, we will now substitute a minus 1 squared as a squared minus 2a plus 1. Therefore, f of a minus 1 is equal to 2 times a squared minus 2a plus 1. Again, using the distributive property, this is equivalent to 2a squared minus 4a plus 2.